Hey guys, in this one, we're talking all about my two favorite lenses that I use when it comes to wedding photography. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. What is going on everybody? My name is Abihimi and thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come hang out with me. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, I know the lack of uploads on this channel has been very disappointing and I sincerely apologize for that, but I have an exciting announcement. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but I recently got married, which is an amazing, beautiful, crazy thing. And life is a movie right now. And um, yeah, it's been an absolute amazing journey so far. Um, I'm talking like I've been married for 50 years. I got married about two weeks ago and I just kind of wanted to take the time to be in the moment, be present and just kind of enjoy this new chapter with my new gorgeous wife. But now we're back in the office getting back into things. And so um, yeah, you can expect a lot more uploads from me and I will do my best to be more consistent. I know I've said that in the past, but don't hold me to it, but we can only try. But anyways, like I said in the beginning of this video, today I want to be talking all about my favorite lenses and actually the two lenses I use uh, at every single wedding. Because I know you're probably sitting there right now with the burning desire and the passion to become the world's greatest wedding photographer. And um, I want to help you with that. I want to help you with your journey. Because when it comes to photography, you know, there is so many different kinds of gear out there. There's so many lenses to choose from, which focal lengths, which aperture, and lenses aren't the the cheapest thing in the world so we always want to make sure that our money is going to the best investment that will give us the greatest return in the long run i'm not sure if that makes sense but i'm pretty sure you guys know what i'm trying to say so pretty much i just want to give you guys my recommendations when it comes to lenses for wedding photography and what i use that fits with my own wedding uh with my own shooting style um and other lens recommendations i would recommend as well if you have a different kind of shooting style i'm just blabbering on right now so without further ado let's jump into my first lens which is the sigma 35 1.4 so this lens right here, the Sigma 1.435, is actually the first lens I ever bought, and it is such an amazing, beautiful lens. And I've actually heard a lot of people say some negative things about Sigma, and just in my own personal experience, I've never had an issue, and I've used this lens for so long that I know it like the back of my hand. So essentially, this is my uh, go-to lens that I'll use for about the majority of the day, probably about... 80 to 90, 85% of the day. So the amazing thing about this lens is it is such a versatile focal length because it is kind of wide enough to get those establishing location shots, to get those wide group shots. And just when those times where maybe you're inside of a room where the bride or the groom is getting ready and um, you, know, you just don't have a lot of space to capture everything. So the 35 millimeter is a super, super versatile lens. I absolutely love it. It's my baby. And um, yeah, definitely a lens I would recommend for anyone who is looking for the overall versatile lens that is perfect for, oh, another great thing about this lens is it is amazing for uh, portraits as well. So seriously, it is an all-in-one lens, great for wide angles, you know, landscape stuff, uh, wide shots, establishing shots, but amazing and beautiful for close-up portraits as well. So yeah, definitely my number one recommendation and my first go-to lens that I use for the majority of the day. Now, the second lens I use for the times where I just need a little bit more reach during the ceremony or the reception, if I'm you know, in a situation where I can't get as close to the subject as I would like, I will then use this lens, which is my handy dandy. Uh, it's actually got a scratch on it now, um, <laughs> but my handy dandy 50 mil 1.2. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't really know why I got the 1.2. I think I kind of just jumped on the, the hype bandwagon and because, you know, I heard a lot of people using this lens and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll grab it too. But I've actually never dropped it down to 1.2 because um, I think just for my own personal style, it's a little too, um, the bokeh is a little too strong. Um, so yeah, I've actually never dropped it down to 1.2. I'll typically use it around 1.4, 1.6 or 1.8. But like I said, the thing I love about this lens is just during those times, during possibly the ceremony or 
or the reception when you you know need that little bit more reach or you want to get a candid shot without the subject kind of being too um aware of you the 50 mil works great i just love to get close you know i love to get intimate um, with my subjects and with my couples and these two focal lengths are just perfect for um yeah achieving that so like i said the 35 mil is my go-to all-around lens that i use for the most of the day it is so perfect and versatile um, you can use it for wide shots and portraits as well so highly recommend and then the second lens is when i need a little bit more reach to get those candid shots or for detail shots as well and that is the 50 mil 1.2 now another lens i would recommend and one that i've been i guess looking at is the canon um 85 mil 1.4 i believe if your shooting style is something more towards keeping your distance from your subject a little bit more kind of you know capturing those candid moments without the uh, subject being too aware of you uh, and you need that extra extra bit of reach i would probably recommend getting something like the 85 mil for your second backup lens um yeah that's another lens that i've been looking at but i've never owned it but from my own personal use from uh, borrowing it from friends and such it's a beautiful lens and uh, the images out of that are absolutely amazing. But I just want to finish off with one more thing. A question I always get on my Instagram and everything, which by the way, you guys should follow me at Apihemi. And the question I get all the time um, on Instagram is if I could only choose one lens, you know, one lens to rule them all. Um, that is kind of like the best bang for your buck, the best investment long term, uh, you know, the most versatile focal lengths and and all of that goodness. That would probably be the 24 to 72 point eight pretty much covers every focal length you could ever need in photography and video as well. The reason why I don't use it that often, I do bring up bring it as a third backup just in case one of my lenses break. But the reason why I don't use it as my main is um, just with my own personal shooting style, I love the look of primes and I love being able to drop down to like 1.4 and everything. Um, but you know, your clients aren't going to complain if you're shooting at 2.8, you know, as long as the image looks sharp and beautiful and, um, you know, you are editing them beautifully, then the clients aren't really going to notice a difference. So if you are currently looking for the one lens that pretty much, you know, it, can do it all it would be the 2.8 uh 24 to 70 uh canon lens um because i shoot on canon but if you are you know wanting to kind of go ahead with something that i would recommend and, and that i use on the daily then the 35 mil 1.4 and the canon 50 1.2 um, will definitely do the trick so those are the lenses i use and the lenses that i recommend but i would love to know what you guys think as well what are the, some of the lenses you are currently using what are the lenses you are looking to buy um leave them down in the comments below and let's uh continue the conversation there if you guys found any of this video uh helpful or entertaining make sure you guys drop a like subscribe to my channel for more content on this channel i am passionate about creating content that helps this community grow and helps you start your own photography business and hopefully grow up to six figures as well but without further ado ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching the video my name is Upi Himi, and i'll see you guys in the next one bye